Hi there. Our top story on Indian Express Opinion videos is India's marvelous achievement by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, with the launch of its geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle, Mark III. Would explain this, in, this amazing achievement I have with me, Amitabh Sinha, Indian Express's ACE correspondent. Amitabh, tell us, what does this mean? What does the launch of uh, the GSLV Mark III mean? What does it do to India as a space power? See, in, in the last three, four years, ISRO has done one uh, great launch after the other, each one very significant uh, in terms of either science or technology or even a couple of them mainly engineering feats. Okay. Uh, this one particularly is a, is uh, can be categorized as a technology feat. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's very very important, and uh, as one previous chairperson of uh, ISRO told us, it's probably the most important event for ISRO in the last two to three decades at least. Last two uh, to three decades. Yes. And why is it so important? Because it's to do with. Uh, one particular part of uh, the engine that propels uh, this rocket and uh, that is called the cryogenic upper stage. It's, it's about a technology uh, that operates at very low temperatures. Mm -hmm. uh, the Indian scientists didn't have this technology in 1990s. They desperately wanted it. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point of time, they had signed a deal with Russia to get this technology. Uh, but uh, at that point of time, under you know, U.S. Sanctions, pressure, yeah. U.S. sanctions, uh, that technology was denied to us. Uh, Russia did send, uh, did sell yeah. a couple of those, a few of those engines to India, but the transfer of technology which would have enabled Indian scientists to develop their own engines in future, mm -hmm. that was denied. Mm -hmm. After which the Indians have spent Years. More than a like more than a decade actually okay. to develop this engine, and that's why this this achievement is very it's very sweet. Uh, so, so just to interject myself into yes. your story, I, right. I happened to be in Moscow in the yeah. early 90s, Agatha, yeah. and this is a story that I followed very closely right. in 1993 when Bill Clinton was then yes. U.S. president and how he cracked yes. down on Boris Yeltsin, right. then president of Russia, right. to deny Glav Cosmos, which is Russia's space yes. organization, technology to ISRO. Exactly. So while on paper, mm -hmm. the deal was they invoked the force majeure clause right. to uh, to um, to end the deal. Right. But I think behind the scenes, both Isro and Glav Cosmos did a lot of work together. Exactly. So is this the same cryogenic engine that catapulted or helped India catapult itself to exactly. a space power? Exactly. It's it's the same technology. Uh, we have built it uh, on our own. Uh, uh, you know, over the years we have tried it, we have failed with it, and then we have uh, like uh, redone, redone parts so of it. So tried and failed exactly. and tested and now succeeded. Yeah, so finally, so it's it's a big, big event for them because it completely, it takes ISRO into a completely new trajectory. You know, uh, what we were doing till now mm -hmm. with a very uh, good other launch engine, which is the PSLV, yeah. we, were, we were very good. We had mastered that uh, uh, technology for launching satellites up to say one ton, 1.5 ton, even two ton. Mm -hmm. I mean, but that that's where we were reaching our limits. The international launch, uh, satellite launch market also requires us to be able to launch heavier satellites. So how, how heavy is this one? Uh, okay, so this gives, gives us the capability to launch three tons, four tons, up to five tons of satellites. So, so India can now launch a three ton or a four ton Yes, uh, in fact the one that was launched yesterday was more than 3 tons and 4 ton would be a regulation sort of a thing for GSLV. Okay, so Amitabh, what does this do? So see, this, uh, why, this is, why this cryogenic stage is so important is uh, that it, it use, utilizes fuel, uh, hydrogen mainly, which provides much greater thrust to a rocket than any conventional uh, fuel that's used in other, other mm. rockets. And this extra thrust is essential to take the uh, take extra payloads yeah. heavier satellites and also propel the rocket further deeper into the space so if we are to do interplanetary missions if we have to go beyond mars if we have to take go mission, beyond mars go beyond mars like uh, say nasa is doing or uh, some of the other uh, agencies are doing they are going much beyond uh, it, much deeper so into this the space. So this is the Mangalyaan uh, expedition that India has launched. Do you think it has... Uh, Mangalyaan was actually done on PSLV. But, okay. uh, so uh, this can take you even this, beyond this, that. This, this will take you further and this will take heavier uh, satellites, into heavier payloads into the space. So Abhita, what is uh, now with this um, launch, In how many other countries in the world have 
can already do this and so in what does india does india enter this very special league of see india is already a uh, part of see there are only four, five or six major space faring powers see which are? you have the us you have the european space agency which which yeah. is sort of a conglomerate That's they work right. together uh, you have the chinese uh, russia. uh, the Jap yeah. russian of course and the japanese to an extent but uh, I mean, India was already a part of it. Right. A lot of these capabilities are only with these small group of uh, nations. Mm -hmm. So, uh, almost all of them have uh, mm -hmm. this cryogenic capability now. Mm -hmm. So, we are we are enhancing our capability, but remaining in the same club. I mean, okay. we are not going out of the club. We are not joining new any new club. As okay, such. but you've already been in the club for some time. You, we have been in the club for quite some time now, and a very credible player, a very credible member of that club. Okay. What this gives us is it becomes, it makes our, the competition much more stronger, because now we are in the international market for launching heavier satellites, which we were not doing earlier. And India, ISRO has an advantage because of its lower costs. Mm -hmm. So now NASA, European space agency they will feel the competition you know creep up to that fantastic Amitabh it's great to see you so excited about this story I'm afraid that's all we have for now but keep watching there will be a very new star in space very soon mm -hmm.